Welcome to another day in Minecraft. We are standing here on a cobblestone platform uh, hearing village noises. And that's because down here is a carrot farm with a farmer and there at the back there are some villages in here for the breeding. So this design is based off on uh, Impulse S Visa. Well, it's not his design, but uh, he presented it in a, in a tutorial that I followed. And down here below we have a chest to uh, fetch the uh, excess uh, carrots that uh, fall through. And down here we have a cramped collection system with all the bread up villages. This block is here because uh, the village is glitched out on, uh, on this corner. And here we will have uh, a minecart system that carries them off this way, and then we have we will have uh, uh, as is called 85 calls it a god machine to basically uh, zombify the villager and then cure them to get uh, super cheap trades. Um, station one, station two. Uh, that will be the trade or the profession selection system and then it goes on into this direction or the, that direction over there um, to the village trading hall. So that's the technical stuff that still needs to do but we have to do a bit of work uh, up here as well because this is a quite uh, unsightly uh, uh, site, so uh, what I will do is uh, basically build up this this mountainside and uh, cover it uh, under it, so it's like inside a mountain. So since the last clip I did a bit of uh, exterior work, as you can see here, we covered up uh, the uh, the farm, complete built up the hill, planted some trees on it, and also uh, beautified uh, uh, the area down here. There were some creeper holes, fixed them, and it's all nice now. And in here I also finished the work, so if we uh, go down here we can see village breeder uh, uh, up there, then we have here the uh, water stream now complete behind glass, and the uh, baby villages are pushed here against this uh, daylight sensor. Uh, then we have one air block above that, uh, so when they grow up they will have their head in this uh, water source and here on the left of it is also a sign, so even if a grown up villager would come along he would get up here, swim up and go over and then you in here. And here this is the uh, pickup system where we can uh, pick up uh, a villager, then he drops down and gets into the uh, zombification. So uh, he will eventually uh, be converted into a zombie villager by uh, three hits. Occasionally he dies.
but that's uh, a risk he has to take. So that was one hit. While the zombie is not dead. There we go. And we have this zombie here, Victor, uh, who does the work. And uh, when he is con when the village is converted into a zombie, he pops out against this string, which is detected by this uh, observer, uh, which triggers this sticky pi uh, piston, uh, pulls up the uh, 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 the redstone block and powers this uh, rail pushing it forward and then the zombie villager sits on this uh, trapdoor uh, without a rail beneath so uh, at this point we can use a splash potion of weakness and a golden apple of him on him to cure him and uh, when he is cured he will drop down into the space below in which he cannot get out because here is a glass block that's a half block uh, and the uh, empty minecart will stay up there and this is actually the next station the chop center where we will try to get a stonemason uh, with which I can trade brick. Endocide would be nice. Then I want to have uh, nether quartz, uh, terracotta and quartz blocks. So this means we cannot just uh, uh, look at his first trade but uh, basically have to go all to the end to decide if we want to keep him or not. And there he goes. So now if we have a look at the clock it's uh, nearly midnight so there's no use to uh, try to trade with him now. So we will come back to him once it's about 10 o'clock and he is ready to trade. So now let's uh, tra do the first trade uh, for the bricks so we can unlock the second tier which is chiseled stone don't really care much for but let's trade some more now we have locked the brick trade so Let's get some chiseled stone so we can get to the next level and see what we get there and uh, basically if we want to keep him. So now he's locked so let's try some more stone bricks okay so those are locked as well um, so let's put some of that stuff away So, um, on the side, or polish on the side, it's actually. So, that should 
unlock the next level okay light gray terracotta it is Do I need one more? And we have an excerpt. Basically this... Well, we get the quartz block, but uh, up here I want to have uh, the, the quartz. Don't care much for uh, glazed terracotta. But uh, this gives me a possibility to uh, show this section off. We switch it. It's the death sw switch. They will drive up here and plummet into the lava with uh, well, lava is gone now. With a hop below to collect uh, the uh, minecart we can reuse it but now I have to fetch a new bucket of uh, lava and fix that so now that this is fixed let's demonstrate it we uh, switched the lever so uh, once we power this rail you should get up there and burn to death and in here we can collect the minecart and place it again in here fetch the bucket and try with another way that you Okay, next try. Let's put those away. Or let's make them into one brick. And another brick takes up less space. And one stack of those. Then you're locked. Journeyman. Oh, well, that's, that's quite a Good one. Actually, to get rid of some granite and diorite. Yeah, you start smoking. Yes! Oh. Uh, the deal is this way around. So I don't really care to trade uh, nether quartz for emeralds. So I guess we should have uh, stuck with uh, uh, one of the previous ones. But nevertheless, this one. This is, uh, I think, the best thing we can get on that tier. So. And the last one. Okay, so now do we want to keep this one? So we switch this. Labor around 
and send him onwards through a long tunnel. Oh, it's traveling faster than I can run. And down here, out in the uh, open, and he went into uh, his cell. We have uh, two librarians on uh, this side. And we place his workstation here for him and he can't get out and the uh, baby zombies should not be uh, able to get in and let's place the rail here uh, so we can store the next one the idea is to have not the same profession opposite each other uh, but beside them so Let's see how that goes. Uh, from this point it's not that uh, visible, but basically this is the rump of a cargo ship. Go away! I'm talking here! And... Uh, this should allow us to basically... I'm not sure, I think there are 11 cells on uh, on each side. So, and we can do another floor above that one, so that should give us uh, uh, quite a trading hall. Okay. That's it for the uh, village breeder trading. Uh, we probably will come back to this one uh, uh, to do some more uh, design work. But for now it's basically tedious work to get all the uh, required villages in that I want. Okay, bye!